All right, this is purple check nymph. We're gonna we're gonna tie it for you here. We're gonna start the thread about halfway down the hook. Wrap it back. Check nymph hooks are sometimes a little hard to judge how far you bring the thread back because they don't have a barb. So we're just gonna bring it back a little bit past where it starts the final bend right here. Cut our thread. All right, we're gonna start off with some of this um, flat shine material. You buy it on spools, then at Sportsman's or anything like that. Just a flat, flash of blue type thing. Tie it in with a couple wraps. Notice I'm going to leave the tag to wrap up. It gives the body a better form. You don't have all the bulge here and then skinny and then fat again. It's going to be just nice all the way up. All right, then we're going to tie in a little bit of this gold wire. It's just a soft gold wire, number 30. Tie it in and leave a tag as well. Tie that in nice and good. All right, now we're gonna use some swax, just a little dubbing wax, help us dub our dubbing on here. Actually, I think we're gonna use a dubbing loop for this one. It makes a little bit better body. All right, so we're gonna make a dubbing loop. We're just gonna make a loop with our finger here. Take a thread back up. Wrap all the way back to the front. Get a nice thread base on here for this. You don't want it thick. You just want it tight and sturdy so it doesn't come apart on you. Tie the tags in. All right, now it's dubbing. It's long hair dubbing. We're just gonna take it and put it in the loop. Might wanna straighten the hairs up in your fingers a little bit. Put your finger kind of tight in the loop. Don't want it really thick. We just want it kind of long. So it's going to stick out a little bit on the fly. Kind of like a scud pattern almost. Takes a little while to do this, but it's well worth it. get a thick piece like this you can just spread it out over the thread a little bit. As you get farther down in the dubbing loops you need to keep your thread a little bit tighter so that the dubbing doesn't come out of the loop. See how when I let go of that, it fell down a little bit. Just want to keep it nice and nice and tight. Yeah, we're just gonna straighten all this out. A little bit more. 
you do these dubbing loops right. Sometimes they take a little bit more dubbing than usual, but makes a nicer body. I think the fish like it a lot better. All right, now we're gonna get out the dubbing twister. A little rotary du dubbing twister. And we're just gonna spin it up. Nice and tight. And all around there. Now a nice little trick when you use dubbing loops is a little picker tool or a comb or something. Just pick all of this out. You can get all the stray hairs out of it. Just make it nice. All right. Just gonna wrap. Notice when I wrap, I pull the dubbing back from the wrap before, so that it doesn't lock over itself and it all sticks out. Start trying to make it thicker as it goes up towards the front because it's going to kind of want to flare back like the hackle of a wet fly. Just wrap it a little bit tighter. All right, we're going to come across with our thread. We'll tie it off nice and tight. All right, now you notice there's all these stray hairs in here. I'm just going to pick all those out and a nice little fly out of it. Another thing I like about doing the, these dubbing loops is you can get it to hide the point of that hook a little bit. Less the, the hook that the fish see. All right, now we're going to take the scissors and we're just going to trim this dubbing up a little bit. A little bit flatter on the top and the bottom. Round it on the sides. Notice I'm trying to get it a little bit thicker in the front and tapers back a little bit thinner at the back. Cut it on an angle. Make it a little bit flatter on the bottom. All right. Now we're going to take this crystal, fold it over the top, just like so. Kind of wants to slip off these big hooks, so that's why we're going to wrap the and these bend hooks. So we're gonna, that's why we're going to wrap the wire through. Keep it on there, nice and straight. Tends to want to twist, but just. Just play with it for a minute and it'll stay. Make these wraps tight because the smaller the head, the better on any, most flies. All right. Come through and trim that extra, extra material out of the eye. We're always trying to keep the eye clear. Takes you a few extra minutes to get it clear. Do it because it saves you a lot of time on the river. Everyone else is trying to put their flies on their leader. You can be fishing. It doesn't take you very long to get that, that line through the eye. All right, now we're just going to take this wire and wrap it through. doesn't matter if it mats the mats it down a little bit as long as you pull it off this side when it comes around so it doesn't go for the flash. We can pick it out with the bodkin later. All right, this is just to hold it in. It doesn't have to be very pretty. Under, over the top. All 
All right. And do whip finish again. Okay. Now we're going to go back through with the bodkin and just pick out everything we matted down with that wire. Tease all that out of there. Sometimes you have a comb, it makes it a little bit easier, but just pick right in the middle of all those wires and it'll come out. Just be patient with it. Any extra that you think you might have in there, you can just go through and trim it out. Alright, and there's the purple check. All right, I like to fish this fly in the summer. Works very well. If you get it down, just regular check nipping, just feel the rocks. Feel the rocks as soon as it comes off the back. That's when they're going to take it.